Hi, my name is Laurie Blakeman. I'm the MLA for the fabulous constituency of Edmonton Centre. And today I want to talk to you, my constituents, uh, about um, protection of personal information. So bits of our personal information is collected and kept in electronic databases all the time. Uh, your grocery store loyalty card knows what kind of soap you buy. Your car insurance knows how many kilometers you put on your car last year. So um, this kind of thing goes on all the time. The problem is how much information is collected and um, what it's used for and who else uh, this information is shared with. So collection, use, and what I call disclosure. There's two things the government's doing right now that I'm not very keen on. The first is the Talon program, and the second is uh, what's currently called Bill 8, but it's the Missing Persons Act. Right now, I'm going to talk about Talon, uh, the police database that falls underneath the Solicitor General. It's cost uh, you, the taxpayer, $65 million uh, to build this database and link it together. Essentially what this is, is information that's collected during a police investigation. What they used to put in their little book that they carried around, but that's now all in an electronic form. So things like the observations the police officer made about the weather or how somebody looked, they appeared nervous, or uh, something the neighbor told them, and that would be gossip, um, or opinions that the police officer had. All of that is recorded. It is unverifiable information, but it all goes into this database. All of that information has been kept by various police forces in their own database. The Talon database has now collected and linked all of those various police databases together. All of a sudden information that was collected in Red Deer is now accessible by a law enforcement officer in Grand Prairie and all the way across the province. So your personal information, which you don't know they have about you, and you don't know what it says and there's no way for you to correct it, is now out there in these police databases across the province. I think that's a problem. And knowing how these things go, you could be a 15-year-old that got a ticket once for stunting, as my younger brother did, on his BMX bike, and 10 years later be picked up driving your car home to Calgary and get pulled over and it says you've had a ticket for stunting. It doesn't say you were stunting on a BMX bike. It says you were stunting. And you're going to get treated differently by that police officer because he's going to believe something different than what actually happened. And that's where the problem is, is people's assumption about what, what what that information means and the fact that it's not verified.